back at it, back from the hurricane, and things went okay, it was pretty, pretty windy, a little concerning at times, with no major damage, some plant damage, anyway, let's get to this, I am back at Shallygram, so during the hurricane, the, the literally our power didn't go out yesterday, so I'm just like, researching these, looking, and by researching, I mean, because people are like, what the fuck, research, looking on Etsy, <laughs> I should look around for other sources of them, just get a wider spectrum of uh, sources, but for now, but I would, before I do this, I'm, I'm basically, I'm going to make this part two to shallograms are not fossils, but before I do that, I need to see what I brought up in the first video, that one, okay, that one, the galaxy looking one, that, that one for sure, the poop one, <laughs> this one, I mean, I think I literally just saved, okay, so we can see, I had 28, Okay, good enough. I'll just assume I talked about the first 28. Ta-da! <laughs> maybe, I don't think I... Let's just maybe go back a little. Because I don't know if I saw this one. Okay, double decker. So I also I wrote an article. Shallograms are not fossils. Ten shallograms that demonstrate they are not fossils. <laughs> and that's just ten. I mean, at this point, <clears throat> I got like 50 of them with images. And at least a few more are real strong evidence that they're not fossils. I, uh, I almost want to add them to the list and just maybe increase the number, why not, but 10 seemed like a nice number, okay, so, the, I just asked on Reddit, I'm looking forward to seeing if this gets any actual response, because it's in biology, I haven't posted here yet, Reddit biology doesn't know about me yet, <laughs> sure, they can click, but at least I don't have the in, in, uh, community karma i have no community karma so I'm, just, I'm a newbie so there's no no hate that's gone my way because i dared question authority uh or the the consensus authority that's what happens is a bunch of people pile on the consensus but i wanted to know here i was wondering do ammonites commonly have sharp corners look at this let's let's pull this one up This is ridiculous. No, I'm, I'm going to be blunt here. I've never seen a, a fossil in anything like this. That's an actual fossil. It has straight lines. I mean, they're not small. This is not a small formation. To still be, it, how, how I would term it, blocky. Like composed of large chunks rather than composed of subtle groups of many particles it's where it has a smooth a smooth edge so here we see smooth but here we see blocky this is to me absolute yet again irrefutable proof these are not fossils because fossils would not do this. It's as simple as that. No living creature ha is composed of blocks. We don't live in block world or flat land or whatever. We live in the real world where this is not a fossil. Boom. Look at this. This one's even more telling. 
the 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 hexagonal thing going on here, po polygonal structure. Uh, let's, am I even able? Okay. Um, it literally it comes here and then it starts to branch off this way as well. And does that like razor tooth? It's like a saw. A natural saw that just literally cuts in. But it stopped there. Like these ridges, I've never seen these ridges here. I usually see them here. It's strange that this is here. I'm not sure that this makes any sense from a biological standpoint. I don't know that biologists have seen this. That's the problem, is these things are literally unique. <laughs> I'm not sure that their characteristics have been documented where, especially, like, something like this might not... I asked in Reddit, and, he, and the, the response I got was suture patterns. And I look it up, they're like, and I appreciate it, no offense. It's just that's the reality of the situation. Is he, the person, when I ask this question, commonly have sharp corners with a sort of hexagonal shape to the central portion of the spiral. I should have taken a zoomed in one to just show this. I found this surprising, but I'm not well acquainted with the spectrum of what is known about these things. And they said, look up suture patterns ammonites. Alright, and this is what comes up. These things, so they thought I was referring to these things. That's not what I was referring to. I was referring to, and I, I responded, I said, are you referring to the dendrite, I said dendrite suture, so I thought he was referring to these, it looks like he could be referring to these, he thinks I'm talking about these, in short, not this, the, the outer edge of the spiral, not within the spiral, this is not biological, it's as simple as that. Let's move on now. This is another angle of this rock. I guess, where is it? I don't know exactly. <laughs> I think it's literally just on the other side. That's that's what's that's what's weird about these things is they have so many like angles of looking at them where they look totally different <laughs> like, is that even the same rock let's go out of here because i see 24 a b c d so these four were all the same rock this one i found interesting look at how tiny that is it's so tiny and then it's got like it's almost like it's just like a like a saw was running outside of this rock that just kind of came into the region of this. And this this is what I found really interesting about this one. This line hooks around, it comes up, and then it goes sideways to be basically, generally speaking, parallel with this thing. Real interesting. As if there's a relationship between this structure and this structure. When this structure, if anything, appears maybe more related to this structure. From a biological standpoint. I don't see how this and this would be whatsoever related to one another. From a biological standpoint. And this rock is tiny. Look at how this th fingernail is like that big. It's like two fingernails across and just coated in these things. Mind you, they are very useful for stratigraphy. That is a 
telling sign that they're they are geological in nature as crazy as that is that they are geological in nature because not only they're basically they only exist at certain times and they only exist in the variety that they exist in in certain times so that like dependent on how much energy the earth is releasing where it's releasing it it basically in what ways it's releasing it it basically produces a wide spectrum of these things but only certain ones at certain times to basically produce a spectrum of very reliable stratigraphy from a biological source which is not normal i mean it's it's not common for every biological source but ah, we found a we found a t-rex therefore blah 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 i mean sure maybe t-rex is a bad example point being it's known for its reliability on pinpointing when it's from, which that's a geological thing. <laughs> Just saying. Let's go on, cause they're they're out of control. They're literally out of control. How how. This one has a tilted spiral coming up to it. So I, before I move on a little too far without saying this and not even saying it because I might forget about the idea, is I realized there's almost, almost, a, almost assuredly a good way to describe these things. This formation here is that it's the negative of a galaxy so basically sorry that Basically, it's the negative of, of a galaxy, and so the, that, that means is the rock itself is like the halo of the galaxy, or galaxies, because some of them are merged into one unit, like a blob connecting multiple units. But like, this is the, basically the way I see this is this is a ether galaxy that exploded. It erupted outward. producing this opening in it but that but basically before it did that it shaped the rock around it because the rock was made of atoms but within this this void was ether particles moving around in a stable way producing voids that then literally shaped the walls around the void and then it it solidified and cooled and maybe as it cooled the ether didn't like that so it escaped by blowing the top of the rocks off like constantly almost inevitably all the rocks are like this like what dude <laughs> what just this nice rock with this opening Look at this one. How is that a fossil? No, there's a better picture. How is that a fossil? It's like it literally splits it in half. Like this this flow was exactly along the edge. That was called this ether flow. And it literally has half of it. And this is real subtle, this one. It almost looks brittle and like soft and like it could be just touched away. I don't know. Doop. <laughs> but it kind of reveals that like that happened here too. But over here, it actually all stripped away. Where over here, it wasn't able to remove the material completely. This shape. Oh my God. Teeth. 
this is very common where it, it like it literally has a rock it's inside a rock and then these teeth structures literally start to penetrate out from the rock and just jaggedly separate the rock inserting a material between it to hold the rock open as the ether just explodes and maybe maybe exactly what is what happens is the ether explodes out pushing debris to the into these side openings on them and then it just cools oh. certainly not fossils yet again it's completely different shape which is what this rock is crazy. I'm not sure this rock is legit. It, I'm fairly certain it's legit the more I think about it, but I, I'm i not completely certain. Like, I know it looks like it's not legit just at the at surface glance. Like, all right, someone fucking did this. Someone did this. Like, it's got a square with a circle with almost... If I'm... I didn't look at this very close. It almost looks like there's one, two, three, f maybe four little little dark spots in the corner of the square. That's crazy. This one is perfectly shaped to be related to this, so that for sure is real. So if that's real, I mean, odds are that everything around this stone is how it formed, and it's just that's how ridiculous these things are like a galaxy halo or something like crazy literally just energy flows this looks like this looks like australia <laughs> it would be crazy if earth used to have a shape more like this so it was kind of flat <laughs> oh it's gotta be a ball what do you mean it's gotta be a ball it could have been some weird uh, oblong fucking who knows what <laughs> I'm just entertaining Flat Earth. Anyone who doesn't like me entertaining Flat Earth, I mean, that just goes to show how thorough I am. All right? I ain't letting Flat Earth go by the wayside without considering it from my own angle. I'll see myself along the path. If it ain't, if it ain't so, it ain't so. And, the, you know, the future will... Reveal it. I mean, I literally have a theory of everything that shows the Earth expanded and is a ball. And I still am like, you know, that flat Earth thing. I'm open. I'm open, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> this one's incredible. It's like it fucking exploded a little more so than the other ones. And maybe destroyed the shape inside. So there's like real sharp jagged edges, like ripples were being caused in the rock. And then the top is not normally like this. It's usually sideways. This one's running this way, which is a little strange. These, the energies flowed that way. What the? And it's interesting. It looks like it literally... Like, connected. The energy flows were connected. Oh, my God. What is happening here? This one, that's real interesting, the way that's shaped. These things are incredible, dudes. If people understand this is just literally energy flows causing this, no life. As soon as we assume life, it's a little more like, well, that's just life being life. Shells are like that. <laughs> but if we're like, energy flows are causing this, then it's like, you know, 
That's fucking epic. <laughs> I see the energy flows. Let's understand the energy flows more. That's really like what I'm getting at here. Let's understand the energy flows behind this. Rather than saying, oh, that's like, it's like a leopard skin. It's just like a leopard skin. It just happens, you know. Or whatever. Skin. It's just like, you know, creatures do stuff. I interesting stuff. But yeah, that's just. <laughs> okay, there's that still, I think. Maybe not. Let's go back here. Yeah, that was still that one. New one here. Look at that. They're literally, like, smooth. That's, like, inner earth. If you go in caves and stuff, you can find stuff like that. Or if you go around earth, you can find stuff like that. Like in uh, Bryce Canyon, maybe. Or places of that nature where there's just formations that are kind of... Like that? Not fossils. Outer shell with the same dendrite sutures, as they call them, sutures. This one's real interesting because it's got like a perfect imprint, but not carved out of this circle that it seemingly was carving out. Like if you were to just continue the surroundings of this it would probably be a, a circle around it so this seems related this circle to this but it doesn't seem like it actually carved the things plus this is real interesting because it's so smooth and nice and then there's ex like these little blobs of the uh, goldish colors, golden color stuff. Maybe even like a certain amount of them at certain spacing. I look uh, obviously. I'm like, are there hexagonal points? No, no, no. But like maybe the spacing is just irrelevant to energy flows, and not so much the biology. This one looks crazy as all crazy like that. What the hell is that? I mean, people can just say that someone made this, but like, that looks real nicely made, if so. That looks nicely made, if so. That looks nicely made, if so. This is incredible. How have we denied these so long from, that it's still considered fossils? <laughs> People know they're not fossils. So what the fuck? How are they denied? Incredible. This one's crazy. Look at the stone right now, right? You don't even know yet. You don't even know. There's nothing to know yet. But just wait. Wait till you see it open its eye. Wait, is that not this one? I might be mistaken. I think it's this one though. Fuck, it's not this one. Oh, this one. Sorry. You'll, it will come to that one. <laughs> this one's got another sphere in the center, but it looks like it might even have like exploded into parts that then froze in position. This looks almost like a destabilized core, like the other one that had a perfect sphere, but it's destabilized into this. And then that to a point where it is all like blocky on the side, lumpy, lumpy, like it's supernova in there. The cord, the core supernova, but it's still got remnants. That's real, that's real interesting. It looks like a little, one of those little pies, like cream pies with Boston pie. Boston cream pie, or apple pie, you know, those little pies. <laughs> oh, dear kid. 
this one's crazy, the way it's got this center. I really think these are synonymous with some kind of like electrons or protons, but maybe electrons out here. Although this may be protons of like a next dimension upward. Where? Wait. Oh. Yeah. Where did I? I was only at 28. I was only at 28. Okay, let's go back to 28. Oh my god. This one, here's one, and then here's one direct, right off it. Like, these are connected energy flows. They're not just two fossils found together. How is this fossil part of this fossil? Like it literally comes up here and then goes this way. I guarantee you that this, this proves that they're fossils. And just the shape again. You can tell by the shapes as well. Like obviously they they take shapes that are like because of the thing inside. And so there's a relationship between the two where fossils just would not matter. It wouldn't do this. Where like this. This shape. The pie shape. The little pie. Austin cream pie, apple pie shape. Like, that's so common. It just, there's, what the, what else does it make me think of? Some kind of, just some kind of pastry thing. I can't think of a specific one that, that I'm thinking of. <laughs> Double decker. Almost guaranteed again, these disprove it. Try to click the arrow from the picture. <laughs> like the way it has sharp points like that is definitely related to things going on in the process. And even like that it doesn't complete. I wouldn't be surprised if, if you were to start chipping this down that there isn't even evidence of the fossil underneath this in some of these. Like the what was shaping this was not a fossil but some flow of energy that just wasn't able to influence certain regions. So at times there's just no fossil where there seemingly should be one. Also, another really important characteristic about this is they literally are like ammonites. Very good stratigraphy, but but they're not make excellent guide fossils for stratigraphy because they evolve rapidly so that each ammonite species have, has a relatively short lifespan because the Earth's mechanics were not all identical throughout the process. Co relatively common and re reasonably easy to identify. That's not what I was looking for. I was looking for okay, soft tissue. But the soft tissue, maybe. Uh. Somewhere I was reading, like, th there's pretty much, there's no soft tissue of these things. This one suggests to be soft tissue. I would suggest, though, that this is just the mechanics of the Earth process, where it looks like it's fucking got 
fucking stomach and all the parts that they're looking for and whatever they want to label these things is because it has the same things. Just like it's Earth doing it, like Earth poops. <laughs> uh, oh, that one's got a more hexagonal. It spins in more hexagonally. That's more straight lines there. Okay, the one I looked at maybe is not the most. Uh, the strongest one, because if there's already ones out there with hexagons that are noticeable enough. This one's not quite as noticeable, but it's still pretty detectable. That there are straight edges and not a smooth wraparound. I mean, problem being, this is probably not a fossil either. So, all of this would make sense because not fossil either, but <laughs> besides the point. It, at least it makes it a little more like I right, there there's a wide spectrum of them like that like that and they've been studied already so I'm not gonna be too aggressive on this point just kind of point out hey dudes maybe uh don't jump past that so fast because uh, what the fuck <laughs> this gut muscles let's see this one Illuminated shell. That's not evidence. Because it could also be just natural. The earth doing it. I know people think I'm insane for uh, <laughs> thinking that way, but it's just fuck. It's just true. Material. Naturally occurring. So a naturally occurring carbonate material makes up the shell. That has since become something else.
<laughs> oh my god, it's crazy to be reading into this, like, rigorously. In the, quote, off chance that they're not fossils. Because, obviously, it's going to be well established in people's minds that they're fossils when they encounter my work. They're going to be like, what the fuck is this dude talking about? Where was I? 30? We got the 30, maybe? Let's go to... Yeah, let's go there. This one's crazy. Here's one. Here's one. Here's a little one. Here's might be a little one. This one comes out here. So maybe that's just an opening that this is carving through at those points. It's like it has a wind. That just carves little cavities around the edge. Until it physically either explodes or or doesn't runs out of steam and leaves behind a partially carved side here This rock, right, is this rock. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> They're incredible. They're literally incredible. Look at that. Right up at the edge, just saying hello, and then that... Here's a little wrap-arounding side thing there. So one of them was going, going ham there. Where is it? I don't know. I don't know how that happens. It's real interesting. It seems like there should be a, another one of these car carving it. And that, like, what the fuck happened there? Did the same there, too. With the, like, dot. The, like. Holy crap, dudes. Same rock. See? Same rock. <laughs> the same fuck. That's got a hole in it there. What? This is the same rock as this. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's go back. This is this. Is this. Is this. Is this. Right? I don't know. This one's a little... I'm not sure. It must be. It was from the same one, and I really looked close at the ones I could tell. This one, for sure, because that big thing there gives away that this is the same. And then that there is for sure there. So that one's this one. There's that opening. Crazy, it barely looks like an opening there. It doesn't even look like one. It's clearly a pretty open there, though. 
And then this doesn't really... It doesn't really look like it's gonna look like that until this one. And then this, like what the fuck is that? It's like a little one. It's a little one. But like a a negative of the negative. Did I finish that thought? I'm not sure if I literally... I don't think I finished that thought now that I said that. So these are antimatter. That's what I'm getting at. Uh, was getting at earlier. Is what occurred here. I think I actually maybe finished my thought. But I... I'll say it again, because it's a, it's very important. What happened here is that the basically ether created a stable system that was a large macroscopic particle of antimatter, and it then shapes the mat the matter around it to be as we see, and then the, the conditions cause for it to explode. So it exploded. I'm, maybe it cooling, because the rock cools and it's antimatter, that means the rock is actually heating. That's probably true. In, in the antimatter's perception, because the rock was heating, it was causing the, the antimatter particle to, to, in its perception, be surrounded by heat to a point where it just fucking exploded. It was no longer stable in the cold. It had to, like, explode outward into... Because its perception was the heat. I don't know if that makes complete sense, but... I'm gonna... Hmm. <clears throat> we'll hold on that one. <laughs> but for sure, that's generally what's happening here. This is a flow of ether producing a void particle that then is stably formed to literally have structure. And then the rock cooled and then imprinted the stable structure. And some reason, like, all of the stable structures were not so stable from the rock cooling and just the changing conditions they were in. And so they basically exploded all of them out the sides, just leaving these windows into inside, where we then see whatever this is, like literally a miniature, but like a negative of the negative, so an actual hard shell. This, like it, it's this, but like filled in. Whoa. And that's what it looks like on the other side. It's got a little, some ridges there. It's kind of another one with a little anomalous structure. Okay, I think this is it. This is it. As we can see, it's here. This, boom! Look at that, right on the side right there exactly on this corner of this almost square but where the square is not is like unsquared or rectangle where the rectangle is not rectangular because of whatever's going on here but almost so like there's one at this corner and then over here real this one's real interesting because it looks like it was one of these that literally did not explode it wanted to so it, it was able to tear it like like a bubble it was bubbling up to a point where it literally ripped the outer edge open and pushed 
the layer surrounding it, but the layer surrounding it was thick enough, and whatever reason, like maybe energy escaped somehow from this, maybe up here, maybe just this happening was enough to release the tension on this thing. Something happened where this just didn't didn't explode. It didn't really go, so we just have a bubble sitting here on this corner where this one's a legit chakra points thing, and then here's this side. I believe this is the same rock. No. Is this the same rock? No. Sorry. Not the same rock. That, oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, not the same rock. Okay. Not the same rock. This one, like, no structure, very much chaotic, like it had a high energy discharge. This very thin, like, what the hell? It's like a thin, it really is sometimes like a saw, but with teeth imprinting frequently. Like a saw makes me think of ancient Egyptian technology. There's a lot of signs that they are using some kind of like advanced saw that has, someone said like a 30 foot diameter radius or something, something huge. Like based on this cut, it requires a saw having a 30 foot diameter rotating saw. I'm like, Maybe some kind of laser or something that's ether based could do that. Maybe an ether saw. Then it doesn't have to be some huge saw, it's just some technology that can replicate the huge saw and way better. Because <laughs> it's not a huge saw, it's a, some ether technology. I mean, these are real nice. Some of them look like they might be fake, but I really don't think they are. This is so perfectly formed that it almost looks too rounded. Like it was, it, it just re is reflective of the type of system that was there. Maybe there's another one there, just hanging out, peeking out the side with this, this just channel in its path. What? Another angle. There's another one we can see. Uh, different, but similar. Oh my god, that's right. Is this this? This is that. Okay, this is that rock. Look at this rock. <laughs> oh my god, so it has this on one side. This is hanging out on one side. Down here. And then notice there's a spiral up here. Here's a little bit of ridges down here, ridges. It's weird corner shape here. Uh, maybe someone. Maybe I was I was I was suggested that this was uh, smoothened by some someone. Someone did stuff to this rock. Someone su I was suggested while streaming yesterday. John said maybe someone uh, did some stuff to this rock, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe they did though. So it's possible right here, like the the that these striations and are signs of some work here but i'm i think it's possible this is just re because like there are systems like there's a system here maybe that caused this section to come out so it just has another chunk to it maybe i mean literally looks like a hand where the person's making it and then the fingers just spiral in forever they're just making a fist literally with some alien finger hand stretched arm strong hand 
ridiculous. And it looks like this from the, so it's on its side. That's another thing about them. They have like stable surfaces like this side it's stable on. But other surfaces they're stable on sometimes. Sometimes it looks like the surface they're stable on for some design basis. Like, ah, oh, that's why blah, blah, blah. Because blah, 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 blah. Like, it's not just happenstance. I don't know how to explain it. I just It just has a regularity of them having too many sides that they can rest easily on. Stably on. To, to be just straight coincidence. Here's another another sphere. Incredible. Incredible. This sphere is so big that it really makes no sense for biology. Why is there a huge sphere at the center of this biology? You're just gonna say another species. <laughs> Just, that's what they say. Just another species. Look at that. Oh my god. There's that sphere. <laughs> just like gold. Sphere. Why is there a sphere there, dudes? I think that is not it, but maybe. No. Oh my god. This one. This one. You can see it's imbalanced. Like whatever energy was focused here pushed out in this direction and imbalancedly. It's almost like it exploded to the side. Like these are supernovas to the side. This is a supernova. It was an imbalanced explosive force maybe. I don't know. It doesn't really make complete sense, but this certainly is not a fossil. <laughs> like, what? Why is this fossil so wide? Like, look how wide this fossil. So this fossil apparently has this and this. It does. That doesn't. That makes no sense. I guess it makes a little sense, but not enough to be like, okay, it's a fossil, fine, you guys are right. <laughs> like, what? Just shapes, a oh, star looking thing. I feel like somewhere on here was a tiny little spirals. Tiny little one. At least one. Maybe there's another one. This one, I'm not... Some of them, I'm also like, are these real? I'm not sure that this is not real, though. Because it's from the same vendor on Etsy. That's That looks legit right there. Like some real tiny one. And then that... I mean, this thing is tiny. This is probably like two inches across. So to do this with the detail is highly unlikely, but unless it's a mold or something, I know there. I know people make these things and sell fakes, but I don't think this dude's selling fakes. So that he that or do that, pardon me, or many people. I just assume it's one person. Whoever's selling these, I don't, on by this username on Etsy, I don't think they're, uh, just making them, I think they're literally just, they, they found this, and like, whoa, and now they're selling it, and we can see, this is not a fossil, <laughs> although maybe they, uh, touched it up it looks touched up because of the square to it but who knows maybe that's just legit like because that's how it goes on a more zoomed out kind of way it gets more flat and layered literally just layers where at some point this looks more like the like 
long protruding ammonites that are just cylindrical cone things with like steps in them maybe it is very much this on a different scale like what I need to go to this river so I can literally look for myself back to this one that it has this here coming off is ridiculous it makes no sense for a fossil. Like it literally, you can see it's carving in. That this is carved. <laughs> Underneath this was carved. Incredible. And it was, and it was carved by a spiraling energy that started at a point and started to spiral. And as it spirals, I guess it gets lower and it gouges further in until it can no longer gouge further in and it kind of runs out of steam at its maximum. And then it just abruptly stopped. Like the fucking top blew off. Maybe that's related to this here. Like that, the top seemingly is gone. Like it just cut the top off completely. <laughs> it was too close to the side in this rock. Like the rock itself was formed. It just wasn't cooled. So it wasn't really like a molten state where it was just lava. It was more of just like a hot rock with ether vortex in it for some reason. Maybe it was kind of molten, but like the chunk that was pulled probably from the core of the earth. I don't know. Wherever this chunk came from, it somehow the ether got put into it, and so maybe it was from the core. That's why I say that. And uh, <clears throat> somehow got brought to the surface. I don't know why the this river in India. I don't even. I haven't researched the river. Maybe I'll look into it. I have made it through all these now. Let me. So did I? Yeah, we looked at this. Like, that's incredible. I know it's kind of not as cool when they're kind of small ones with just little features. But... Let's see if we can find a YouTube video there. Shaligram, Shaligram. Oh, yes. This is kind of what I was looking for. <laughs> हमारे साथ अनंत निताई दास प्रभु जी सालीग्राम सिला ढूंढ रहे हैं और यहाँ सालीग्राम सिला वही भाग्यवान लोगों को मिलता है क्या हुआ क्या हुआ हरी बोल हरी बोल हरी बोल हरी बोल हरी बोल हरी बोल सालीग्राम जय राधे जय राधे जय सालीग्राम सिला भगवान के जय सालीग्राम Oh my god, they put it back to. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know if you can put it back. Like, who's putting these things back? I'll leave it here. Obviously, someone else is going to take it. So, I mean, I might as well take it. <laughs> oh my god, he put it towards his third eye. 
उनके बाद साक्षात सालिग्राम शिला भगवान प्रकट होके उनके हाथ I mean, they're literally just looking for, like, this is... do English title like this and then don't speak English I'm like <laughs> oh wait, wait we got this close cash in here. नेपाल के मुश्तांग इलाके में हूँ और मेरे पास मेरे साथ बह रही है अत्यंत दिव्य और पवित्र नदी जिसका नाम है काली गंडकी ओम श्री गंडकी देवे नमः मन When we do tarpon, when we do kalashar and complete other things as part of the worship with the mantra ओम तरसे जब हम तर्पण करते हैं जब हम कालाचार कालाचार और अन्य पूजन कर्मों को संपन्न करते हैं तो जिस गंडकी नाम की देवी की हम सादर आराधना करते हैं वो नदी के रूप में यही नदी साक्षात है इस नदी का अत्यंत महत्व है ये बेहद पवित्र नदी है यहाँ पितरों के लिए श्राद्ध तर्पण किया जाता है यहाँ अपने पापों के प्राश्चित के लिए बहुत दूर दूर से लोग आते हैं और इस नदी में स्नान करके तीर्थ लाभ और पुण्य लाभ भी लेते हैं इस नदी के अनेकों महत्व हैं और इसके इस नदी के किनारे अगर आप गौर से देखेंगे तो देखिए इस तरह से शालिग्राम और शालिग्राम शिलाओं की यहाँ भरमार है इस नदी के साथ साथ यदि आप किनारों किनारों पर जाएं तो आपको अनेकों शालिग्राम और उन पर बनी हुई तरह तरह की आकृतियाँ दिखेगी ये एक साधारण शालिग्राम देखिए यही पड़ा हुआ they know we don't know white people <laughs> fucking ruling the world with our stupidity western world oh no they're fossils they're fossils to shaligram ka bhi yahan utpatti sthal hai shaligram ki mahima se to aap sabhi parichit hai hi lekin is nadi ke sambandh mein main aapko chalte chalte kuch batana chahta hu is nadi ke pravah ko आप देखिए ये हमेशा काली मिट्टी के कारण हिमालय की मिट्टी के कारण काली रहती है इसीलिए इस नदी को काली गंडकी कहा गया है लेकिन इस नदी का महत्व क्या है इस नदी का आध्यात्मिक महत्व क्या है ये मैं आपको थोड़ा सा बताना चाहता हूँ ये जो पर्वतीय क्षेत्र आप देख रहे हैं मेरे चारों तरफ ऊपर मेरे पीछे 
और मेरे दाहिनी ओर और मेरे बिल्कुल विपरीत दिशा में उस ओर हिमशिखर हैं आप उन हिमशिखरों को भी मेरे साथ देखिए वो मेरे पीछे संध्या ढल रही है और मुझे आपको हिमशिखर नजर आ रहे हैं यहाँ पर धौल धौला गिरी धौल गिरी और नील गिरी और इसके साथ साथ अनेकों पर्वत की श्रृंखलाएँ यहाँ से आसपास से गुजरती हैं और ये बहुत महत्वपूर्ण स्थल है इस पूरे स्थल को सिद्धों ने बेहद पावन स्थल कहा है और पावन स्थल माना है गंडकी नदी की यद्यपि यहाँ आकर मैंने स्थानीय लोगों से भी बातचीत की और पूछा कि इस नदी की कहानी क्या है उन्होंने अपनी जो देश परंपरा है अपनी जो रीति है उसके मुताबिक जो कहानी थी वो मुझे बताई वो एक साधारण कहानी है जो आप कहीं भी पढ़ सकते हैं कहीं पर भी आप उस कहानी के विषय में सुन सकते हैं लेकिन जो कौलाचार में और जो कौलांतक पीठ के पारंपरिक इतिहास में इस नदी का महत्व है वो मैं आपको बताना चाहता हूँ ये पूरा का पूरा स्थान महर्षि दुर्वासा महर्षि काक वशुंडी जी महाराज और इसके साथ ही सुखदेव जी महाराज और सनक ऋषि सनकादि जो चार ऋषि रहे हैं उनका प्रमुख स्थान ये रहा है और यहाँ ये जो गंडकी ऋषि है यहाँ इस ऋषि का नाम भी जुड़ता है जिनको महर्षि गंडक कहा गया है महर्षि गंडक के कारण ही इस नदी का नाम गंडकी नाम की नदी के रूप में विख्यात हुआ है कहा जाता है कि किसी समय यहाँ जब इस नदी का अस्तित्व नहीं था तब यहाँ केवल इतनी गंडकी नाम की नदी के रूप में विख्यात हुआ है कहा जाता है कि किसी समय यहाँ जब इस नदी का नो एक्सिस्टेंस और आइडेंटिटी नहीं था तब यहाँ केवल Then here there used to be extreme snowfall. Oh, was this near a pole? इतनी अधिक मात्रा में हिम पड़ता था, इतने ज़्यादा हिमपात होता था कि यहाँ पर ये घाटियाँ दृश्यमान नहीं थीं, केवल हिम से आच्छादित थीं। लेकिन महर्षि गंडक एक बार इस क्षेत्र में से होते हुए अपनी साधना के लिए गुजरे। तब उन्होंने उस हिम को काटते हुए यहाँ एक नदी की उत्पत्ति की जिसे गंडकी कहा जाता है ये कौलाचार में परंपरानुगत सुनाई जाने वाली कहानी है ये महर्षि गंडक थे कौन इन्होंने क्या किया है इनके संबंध में एक विशिष्ट बात जो मैं आपको बताना चाहता हूँ वो ये है कि शैव परंपरा में जो भूत इत्यादि गण है प्रेत इत्यादि गण है दैत्य इत्यादि गण है उनकी परंपराओं को दूषित परंपरा कहा गया और दूषित परंपरा के कारण आपने देखा कि देवताओं और दैत्यों के मध्य में हमेशा विवाद ही रहा है तो महर्षि गंडक ने दैत्यों के मध्य भी कुछ ऐसे ऐसे दैत्यों को खोजा जिनके भीतर एक आध्यात्मिक वृत्ति थी ईश्वर की ओर जाने के लिए वो सदैव तत्पर रहे तो उन्हें महादेव की परम्परा से जोड़ने के लिए वो उन्हें पाताल लोक से लेकर अपने साथ इस मार्ग से होते हुए गए थे लेकिन जिस समय वो एक है उत्तराखंड लेकिन भारत की स्टेट या भारत का राज्य नहीं हिमालय का उत्तरार्ध भाग को उत्तराखंड कहा जाता है और एक है नीलखंड सागर के तट से लगते क्षेत्र को नीलखंड कहा जाता है तो नीलखंड से जब वो दैत्य को लेकर आ रहे थे तो ऋषियों ने उन्हें पकड़ लिया बहुत सारे सिद्धों ने उन्हें पकड़ लिया कहा कि आप महादेव की परंपरा में इन दैत्यों को क्यों ले जा रहे हो तो उन्होंने कहा कि इन्हें भी ज्ञान मुक्ति और साधना का अधिकार है तब उन सिद्धों ने कहा कि हमें भी इन्हीं के साथ जाना है हम भी इनके साथ चलकर देखेंगे कि क्या ये उस ज्ञान के अधिकारी हैं तो उनके साथ बहुत से देवता रूप बदल और बहुत सारे सिद्ध और ऋषि मुनिगण महर्षि गंडक के साथ इस क्षेत्र की ओर आए हैं और क्रमशः इस क्षेत्र से होते हुए वो आगे गुजरे और इस नदी को ब्रह्मा जी के जल के समान ही पवित्र माना जाता है क्योंकि यहाँ पर साक्षात महादेव और माँ गौरा तब प्रकट हुई जब महर्षि गंडक यहाँ पर आते समय 
इस क्षेत्र से गुजर रहे थे और तब उनके मध्य में विवाद हो गया जहाँ क्योंकि वो एक साथ देवताओं को जो कि छद्म वेश धारण करके थे उनके साथ आ रहे थे ऋषि वृंद उनके साथ आ रहे थे और दैत्य कुल और असुर कुल के कुछ अध्यात्म आध्यात्मिक तेजस्वी योगी और ऋषि भी उनके मध्य में थे और उनका प्रतिनिधित्व करने के लिए इसी क्षेत्र में जहाँ बहुत पीछे मैं आपको ले जाने वाला हूँ उस क्षेत्र में दैत्य गुरु शुक्राचार्य जी आए और शुक्राचार्य जी के आने के बाद ये विवाद बढ़ गया और यहीं पर वो लोग बैठ गए भूमि पर और तब भगवान महादेव और महादेवी प्रकट होकर उन्होंने ये निर्णय किया कि हिमालय के किस क्षेत्र में दैत्यों को अधिकार दिया जाए किस क्षेत्र में देवताओं को अधिकार दिया जाए किस क्षेत्र में किन्नर किरात और मनुष्यों को अधिकार दिया जाए इस प्रकार से इस गंडकी नदी के तट का ये महात्मा माना गया और यहाँ से क्योंकि जो मनुष्य भी मरिषि गंडक के साथ आए थे उनमें से कुछ मृत्यु को प्राप्त हो गए तब ये प्रश्न पैदा हुआ कि अब इनकी मुक्ति कैसे संभव होगी तो महादेव ने कहा कि इस नदी के तट पर मैं ऐसे संगम का वरदान तुम्हें प्रदान करता हूँ कि उस संगम पर हर एक व्यक्ति का पितृतर्पण करने से उसे ब्रह्मलोक शिवलोक और विष्णुलोक इत्यादि की इच्छानुसार प्राप्ति होगी इसलिए इस नदी के तट को अत्यंत महत्वपूर्ण माना गया आज मैंने भी स्वयं यहाँ आकर अपने स्वर्गीय पिता का तर्पण किया है अपने पूर्वजों के लिए तर्पण किया है और यहाँ कुल देवी देवताओं की उपासना भी मैंने यहाँ की है तो इस नदी का आध्यात्मिक महत्व बहुत अलग है जो कि नेपाल में प्रचलित कथाओं से बिल्कुल अलग है क्योंकि ये जो कथा मैंने सुनी है ये तो मैंने भारत में सुनी है भारत में जो हमारे गुरु शिष्य परंपरा में जो प्रचलित प्राचीन पंथों से ये कहानी आती है उसका प्रारूप है लेकिन इस कहानी को मैं आज जीवित महसूस कर पाता हूँ जब मैं इस नदी के तट पर यहाँ हूँ और मैंने जानबूझकर संध्या का समय चुना है क्योंकि नदी का नाम काली गंड की है क्योंकि इसमें काले रंग की मिट्टी बहती है और मेरे पीछे काले पर्वत हैं क्योंकि इनमें बहुत कम वनस्पति है ये भी काली मिट्टी से बने हुए हैं और हमारे अंदर जो मलिनता है जो पाप है वो भी कालिक के समान है वो भी इसमें धुल जाए इसलिए मैंने इस काली नदी को चुना है और इस संध्या के वक्त को चुना है और मेरे पीछे काले बादल आपको नज़र आएंगे वो इस समय पूरी प्रकृति काली है मेरे वस्त्रों का ये रंग काला है और मेरे हाथों में शालीग्राम जी का रंग भी आप देखेंगे ये रंग भी काला ही है इसलिए मैंने संध्या का वक्त चुना क्योंकि काल नियंत्रिका शक्ति महाकालिका की भूमि होने के कारण मुझे लगा कि ये समय सर्वोत्तम रहेगा तर्पण करने के लिए आप सब के लिए प्रार्थना करने के लिए और इस नदी के महत्व को संक्षेप में आपको बताने के लिए याद रखिएगा इसी स्थान से दैत्य गुरु शुक्राचार्य ने तिब्बत के कुछ क्षेत्रों की ओर अपना रुख किया इसलिए तिब्बत के कुछ क्षेत्रों में जिन्हें रहस्यमय माना गया वहाँ दैत्य और असुर कुल के कुछ ऐसे ग्रंथ कुछ ऐसी मान्यताएं कुछ ऐसी परंपराएं विकसित हुई हैं जिनके बारे में अभी तक बहुत कम लोग जानते हैं केवल वही जानते हैं जो उस असुर कुल से जुड़े या जो दैत्य गुरु शुक्राचार्य के कुल को भी मानने लगे अन्यथा देवताओं ने बृहस्पति के कुल को चुनकर उसी कुल में अपने आप को आगे बढ़ाया और मनुष्य ने शैव शाक्त और वैष्णव गणपत्य इत्यादि पंचायतन को मानकर उस कुल में अपने आप को आगे बढ़ाया बीच में फंस गए हम अर्थात कोलांतक पीठ के सिद्ध जो सभी को समान दृष्टि से देखते हैं क्योंकि उमा और महेश्वर महादेव सदाशिव और माँ योग माया की आज्ञा के अनुसार हमने दैत्य कुल को भी सम्मान दिया असुर कुल को भी सम्मान दिया देव कुलों को भी सम्मान दिया सभी कुलों को सम्मान दिया और हमने महादेव की परंपराओं को मजबूती से पकड़ रखा हालांकि नेपाल में इस नदी का उतना महत्व है नहीं तीर्थ के रूप में अवश्य महत्व है एक छोटी सी कहानी के रूप में भी इसका महत्व है लेकिन जिस भाव से जिस पवित्रता से जिस कथा से जिस महात्मे से मुझे बाल्यावस्था से इतना बड़ा होने का अवसर मिला आज जब इस नदी के तट पर हूँ यकीन मानिए मेरे हृदय से एक वेग बह रहा है एक प्रेम की अश्रुधारा बह रही है मैं अपने आप को अति अत्यंत पवित्र और पावन महसूस कर रहा हूँ मैं अपने पूर्वजों की शक्ति महादेव की शक्ति को अपने निकट महसूस कर रहा हूँ और देवताओं की शक्ति के साथ साथ कुल देवता की शक्ति के साथ साथ अपने समस्त विश्व के शांति और तेजस्वीता के बीच को अपने भीतर महसूस कर रहा हूँ मुझे लग रहा है कि मानो मेरे भीतर एक अद्भुत प्रकाश का उदय हो रहा है मैं इस पावन स्थली से इस नदी के पवित्र जल से 
आपके लिए आपके परिवारों के लिए प्रार्थना करता हूँ और मैं साथ ही साथ नेपाल के लिए भारतवर्ष के लिए संपूर्ण पृथ्वी के सज्जनों के लिए प्रार्थना करता हूँ सर्वत्र मंगल हो सर्वत्र कल्याण हो यही कामना करता हूँ और इच्छा करता हूँ कि कभी आप भी इस पवित्र नदी के तट पर आकर तर्पण कर सकें और जो लोग यहाँ नहीं आ सकते हैं मैं उनके निमित्त यहाँ तर्पण करता हूँ और आप सब लोग जो मुझे देख रहे हैं और अभी तो मैं जीवित हूँ मेरे मरने के बाद भी जो लोग मुझे देखेंगे उनके निमित्त भी मैं युगो युगो तक इस गंडकी नदी के इस जल का तर्पण करता हूँ मेरे साथ ओम श्री गंडकी दव्य नमः बोलकर कौलाचार संपन्न कीजिए ओम श्री गंडकी दव्य नमः ओम सम सिद्धाय नमः ओम महाकालाय विकर्तनाय मायाधराय नमो नमः ओम श्री गंडकी दव्य नमः ओम सर्वपितृभ्यो नमः ओम श्री कुलदेवताय नमः ओम ह्रीं चतुष्टी योगिभ्यो नमः ओम श्री गुरुमंडलाय नमः ओम महाहिमालय नमः ओम उमापत नमः ओम श्री विष्णवे नमः ओम श्री ब्रह्माय नमः ओम नमो भगवती योग माय नमो कुरकुल्ले त्राहिमा शरणागत ओम शांति शांति सुशातिरभवत इसी मंगल कामना के साथ गंडकी के तट पर से मुझे विदा दीजिए मैं सदैव आपके हृदय में रहूँगा आपके आसपास रहूँगा कभी इस मनुष्य देह में तो कभी प्रकाश के रूप में कभी ज्ञान के रूप में तो कभी चेतना के रूप में तो कभी आपके हृदय में प्रेम के रूप में याद रखिए इस शालीग्राम शिला वाले इस तट को जब आप देखेंगे तो यहाँ बहुत से शालीग्राम मिल जाएंगे क्योंकि शालीग्राम स्वयं नारायण है आप और हम नारायण के प्रतिबिंब ही तो हैं बस नेत्र मूंदिए अपने भीतर नारायण की तेजस्विता को धारण कीजिए क्योंकि महादेव नारायण ब्रह्मा इत्यादि समस्त मूर्तियों में अभेद हैं केवल मूढ़ व्यक्ति ही उन्हें भेद रूप से जानता है इसी सत्य को स्वीकार कर गंडकी का तर्पण स्वीकार करें मेरा प्रेम स्वीकार करें प्रणाम ओम नम शिवाय नमो आदेश interesting all right all right let's see ti hai jahan se ye rocks nikalti hain isme chakra ka nirman kiya jata hai jisko hum log shaligram shila kehte hain iske khubi hoti hai iska nirman keede ke dwara kiya jata hai us nadi mein keeda hota hai jo is chakra ka nirman karta hai jo karta hai complete tarike se jo saliva hota hai uski lad aur hai ye sara ka में छोटे हैं छोटे पीसेस जो छोटे रॉक्स होती हैं इस प्रकार से देखेंगे आप ये है ये कंप्लीट फॉर्मेशन वाले शालिग्राम्स हैं मात्रा में आप
This one I watched. Different, different color for the other painter. I don't need this one. Need this one. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a source. Like where the fuck are these coming from? Scientifically, are basically described as fossil stones and characterized by the presence of discus marks. That reminds me, uh, the other day I said stone fruit, and I realized the fruit is actually a real fruit from the, the person's... I was looking at someone's channel on Etsy for all their... Shallygrams, see what else they got, and they had something called stone fruit. It is an actual thing that's not a stone fruit. <laughs> Let's see about this one. This one might actually have useful information rather than just a uh, video at the river or interesting information. guy talk, I, I've just felt bad not to the, the guy talk, you know, I didn't want to say I wasn't useful, just, it's not about shallygrams, it's more about the river. Please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get all the latest updates. I think it's not English. Awesome. Trolling people, sorry. Brian Keating, Eric Weinstein, Weinstein. like 
I would appreciate my research being acknowledged on, acknowledged on its merits, undis and then I signed, undisputed, since no one will speak to me or rebut my arguments, discover of the theory of everything. <laughs> <laughs> kind of trolling, sorry guys. Hugs. <laughs> So it looks not awesome like. <clears throat> Sorry, I just gotta <clears throat> I didn't explain myself like here. There's really no connection between the two. That's a little strange. I think the shell just kind of degrades and leaves the shape behind. That's ridiculous. How would they account for the just absolute lack of evidence of the shell? Time plus erosion plus coincidence. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's such a cheat code when you don't know the answer. Time plus erosion plus coincidence. See how I said when you don't know the answer, it's a cheat code. Like, it serves as an answer. But it's not the answer. But it's a cheat code, it makes it seem like the answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one looks crazy. What the fuck? Oh my god. Look at that. This one is right here. It's di distinctly in different planes that fossils could not do this. <laughs> It's just fucking ridiculous. I mean, at that point, it's intentional. It's got to be intentional. Someone knows what they're doing. Hiding the truth. Casually lumping these in the fossils and hoping no one notices intentionally like that's how deep it is someone must know and be holding this floodgate shut because what the fuck how is this on top of the fossil there it makes no sense and then this here oh my god that's another one that's like also inward that doesn't make any sense with this one. It doesn't make sense. Fossils are just overlapping one another in part. They just gotta explain it like that. That's the only explanation. <laughs> Overlapping broken half fossils that all are gone completely except for the remaining rock that happens to look like incredible Pfft. incredible that's incredible it's perfect rock with this little eh. blown out i wonder if there's another one like over here. or if this structure only forms maybe when it's like blowing out it open and had it in it so probably not it's just straight up like that okay I believe in you computer I guess I wanted to be full screen I, uh, I can appreciate that like where is any shape of the fossil and yet it has the shape so it must have just degraded so much time <laughs> Plus erosion, plus coincidence. Another, another explained. 
Next, move on. We explain this one time. Rose and coincidence. Next one, sir. Please, please, sir. Next one. So that we can explain the next one very differently. Certainly not. Same explanation over and over again, recycled to the point of ad nauseum. Let's see. Oh, look at the erosion on that. Wow. <laughs> Dude. Like the structure kind of caved in here. Fucking erosion. How is this not eroded away? How do they explain this shit? There's no. This shit is found like this sometimes. Fucking eroded after 66 million years I'm in the river it's sitting in. Ah, oh, no, it's got all these rough edges. <sighs> I like the ones that show less structure. Because they really prove this is not a fossil. This one is incredible. It looks connected like this here. That spawned like a, it like fell off over on this side. But holy shit, if that's actually related. I mean, this angle strongly suggests like that it has these angles here strongly suggests a relationship between this and that like this was like a big a big one forming like if this could just go on for ad infinitum it would form a big one and that maybe was kind of leaning in that direction but then it just kind of blew out i guess i don't know and again it's very near the edge very flat on that side. This one looks like it actually has the center outside of the rock, like this was part of another one. I need to look at this river. <laughs> Maps. River. Oh, yeah. Hmm.
see the temple. The river source is a glacier. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> I didn't realize it was Facebook. <laughs> Place of Salvation. Are considered representations of Vishnu. So ammonite stones. Legends originated due to the following chain of events. This is good. Uh, One second. Okay. King named Vrishad Hathacha had been cursed by Surya to endure poverty due to his reluctance to worship any deity other than Shiva. To regain their lost prosperity, his grandsons Dharmad Hathaja and Kusad Vaja performed austerities to propitiate goddess Lakshmi, the goddess of prosperity. Pleased with the austerity, she granted them prosperity and the boon of her being born as their daughters. Accordingly, Lakshmi incarnated as Vedavati, the daughter of the... Okay went to this place to perform austerities in order to gain Vishnu as her husband, but was informed by Brahma that she would not get Vishnu as her husband in that life and would have to marry the Danava named Shankhashuda. In his previous birth was a Sudama, an attendant of Krishna, a manifestation of Vishnu residing in Goloka. He had been created out of his body and was cursed by Radha to be born as a Dinava. Demoralized and defeated. Okay. (laughs) 
when Vishnu, assuming the form of an old Brahmaness, his armor while begging alms, then donated his armor to him. When he was busy fighting with Shiva, Vishnu, and assuming the form and cohabited with Tulasi. Thus Tulasi's chastity was broken. She cursed him to become a stone as she believed that he had been emotionless like a stone in accomplishing the death of his devotee and stealing her chastity when she was also his devotee. Vishnu consoled her by stating that it was the result of her austerities performed in the past in order to gain him as her husband and that she would again become his wife upon casting off her body. Thus, Lakshmi cast off the body of Tulasi and assumed a new form which became known by the name of Tulasi. The discarded body of Tulasi was transformed into the Gandaki River. And from her hairs emerged the Tulasi shrub. Vishnu, on being cursed by Tulasi, assumed the form of a large rocky mountain known as Shaligrama. No river with that name, maybe, or no mountain. Worms having teeth as strong as Vajra. Why is this only found there? It's absolutely insane.
shallygram.org. Oh, this is probably. I feel like this person or this website is actually the most likely to be fake because they got com like computer generated things. <laughs> like, what is this? It doesn't look real. People would think these fossils are probably just like, this is absurd. What are they doing worshiping this fossil? <laughs> uh, I wonder if it's because someone knew the rocks revealed the nature of reality, but that knowledge became lost, so now they're just like held as significant because like it echoes it but like the knowledge is pretty lost because it really takes a rigorous study of them scientifically by maybe even all of society to really un unlock the true depth of uh, the shallygram Oh my god, what is happening there? Oh, and you can see the features still. It's just very much like explosive. It blew out two sides. It was just so much force in the eruption of this thing that it just wasn't really able to maintain its original shape very well, maybe. I mean, it doesn't even have a center part of it. <laughs> I don't know. Sense as a fossil, it really doesn't. If you, if you think about it, no people will, will hear about my research and come on my YouTube channel and see me saying it makes no sense as a fossil and just immediately be like, What? Scoff. <laughs> I've well established it's their fossils. I can't believe this person is so absurd. Not a fossil, <laughs> not a fossil, dudes. Like they don't 
bust them open because this little wine just comes to the edge. So some of them must be found like that, or they just take out the part. They like maybe they did hit this open, and it just like they saw the ridges and hit the ridges, and it just snapped there. And that that's a common practice for accessing these things. I don't know. It just looks so smooth and the same color as if it was like that already. Like I don't think it would share the same color if it was unexposed and they broke it. them open and I'm an idiot <laughs> they're not like exploding open they broke them open on some of them and then they smooth them off fell on the edges to make it look more uh, nice because oh my god like a magnetic field it's all its little magnetic field lines Literally, that's their channel. I had just a bunch of people doing it. of force <laughs> oh my god it's so 
Holy shit, that's gotta be a foot and a half. Whoa. Oh my god. I think the top comes off too. It looks like it's got a crack around it. What the fuck is this rock? There's one. <coughs> that's all I got of this. Oh my god, that's incredible, that one. That one looks like it's got smooth, uh, suggestive of not fossil type of features to the structures of these. Oh my god. Look how little that one is. Oh my god. The fact that it does this with regularity is just proof it's not fossils. Oh my god. <laughs> it really is out of this world incredible. Let's see the other side. Big fan of the carved ones, but that's okay. Damn. Whoa. Please subscribe. My oh channel. my God. Tiny spear. Oh, hit the bell icon. oh my god. Could that be any more incredible? to get all the latest updates. Oh my god.
so glad I found the ones with the little spheres at the center, and they're different. This one has like three of them almost. It looks weird, a little different. I already posted spheres. I'll just uh, reply. Oh, yeah, where is it? That one. That one. Where's the exploding spheres? That was probably actually... Where was that? I might not have taken that. Fuck. I need to, like, save every one of these. I come across. Price, please. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Whoa, it's tiny. Let's see if there's any like blatant ones. Like that other one I was just looking at, that one. That's that rock again. I really do think this is related to some explosion process. Because it's filling this section. It's literally just filling it. Like the fact that there is no ball there, maybe that's significant. Fucking ball got splattered all over the place. I wonder if I wonder if those actually have unique properties. Just the, those balls at the center, like that one, if they have actually unique pop properties. 
like there's weirdly uniform in makeup or something. Okay, can we find another cool one? Right, like boom. That's just bl blatantly cool. Oh, there's another one with the ball, but this ball is smushed, smushed ball. That's incredible. The ball even has little ridges on it. It just makes me think there was like a ball there and some reason there's a flow around it like a magnet this thing had a magnetic field that like caused the space around it a really tall one. Also cool as hell, but not the tall one. Well, look how big that that uh, dendrite suture pattern was. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's gorgeous right there. It's got like crystals behind it. Some more structure if you smash it all bad. <laughs> oh, God, sorry not to suggest such things. Poor Shadi. Like, look at that. How is that and not just like a molecule that has certain atoms in it? Like a big one and some two little, like hot, like water. Not to say this one's like water, but yeah, oxygen, hydrogen. That's incredible too. Let's see, let's 
see anything. Sorry if I'm passing stuff you guys are interested in. I'm just about to stop, so I figured I'd just do a quick once over for anything that really stuck out. This one's real defined. Wow, that's perfect specimen right there. Just a find. This is perfect. How is this? Never experienced erosion before and all. <laughs> I guess if they do crack it open. It's just incredible. And yet the fossil's not there. <laughs> we just find endless shells. That angle right there for a second. You can kind of see the way this is. Whoa, it's like at this one. And then this one. Is like a step here and then this one would be bigger or maybe oh, interestingly they s would stagger so like the next bigger one would actually be over on this side I guess if this were to be carved out instead it would have been carved out this big so basically it carves piece at a time like this chunk comes back, carves this chunk, comes back around, wrapping around, not actually underneath, comes back, carves another chunk and another chunk and just gets wider and wider and adding little steps where it just extends out further. But this is a spiral energy. I'm doing it. A spiral energy that's just taking chunks after chunk after chunk and doing something with it. I don't know. I'm pushing it out maybe or turning it into uh, ether even. Maybe fueling the system. Oh, just pristine, some of them. Whoa. <laughs> Not fossils, dudes. Well, that one might be real evident it's not a fossil. <laughs> okay, I'm going to look at this, this one and be done with this video. That's fine.
All right then. Uh, yeah, not fossils, dudes. I'll be back with more on how they're not fossils sooner or later, probably. Peace out.